What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now this is going to be a pretty special build for you guys. This is my hardest hitting turret slash drone build for any content. You can do heroics, legendaries, you can even go into PvP if you want. But this is a monster build. And because of title update 12, it just got even better. So if that sounds good, let's uh, jump into it. Shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. So I just got my hands on the capacitor uh, last night and I, I just can't put this build down. Um, just overall, the damage from both my weapon and my skills is just insane. It just mows down all of the NPCs in front of me and it really just doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you guys the numbers on target after this build breakdown and then I'll go over to the summit and we can run you know heroic or legendary it doesn't really matter but um, just look at this build right here this is insane you guys because the capacitor not only gives you weapon damage but it gives you skill damage at the same time so you can see it starts out at 102.8 K total damage and then for each yellow skill tier you gain more weapon damage so what i did is i got mine in the summit last night and i re-rolled it to make sure i had max ar damage but this is not a god rolled exotic so i can still re-roll it a few times if i want um, i'm telling you right now do not try to optimize it it is not worth the time and materials so just re-roll it until you get a good one for me I was okay with just max AR damage. But this is the capacitor. This is a, a huge addition to the Division 2. And it just came out yesterday with title update 12. And you can get it within the summit. Now I have tested it against the Harmony. And I am using the Harmony as my secondary. Because the talent perfectly in sync gives you 40% skill damage and I tested that with the capacitor and the capacitor actually does more damage so I'll show you as soon as this you know build breakdown is over and then for my sidearm I'm using the double barrel sawed off with in sync this is just in case I get some rushers or something like that now the two skills that I'm using the striker drone which you can see right here has a 11 second cooldown and a 77.6k base damage and of course it hits a lot harder than that and i'll show you here in a second and then this assault rifle uh, assault turret this one again uh 124k damage and this one has a 10 second cooldown so uh, not only do I have a lot of skill damage, but I also have a lot of skill haste. And just to check that out, I have 121.9 skill haste on this build. So we've looked at the weapons. Let's uh, talk about the specialization. So I'm using the technician specialization. Reason being is within that specialization tree, you get 10% skill damage not only that but it'll also give you a plus one skill tier so that gives me the opportunity to run a red core attribute for my sacrifice chest piece so I'm able to run the one red that also gives my assault rifle better base damage and I can still have the six skill tiers for my skills so this build has pretty much complete symmetry when it comes to weapon damage, skill haste, and skill damage. Now looking at the build itself, it is six skill tiers, and that is due to the five yellow core attributes and that technician specialization. Now starting with the mask, I'm running the Wyvernware mask. The brand set bonus I get from this 10% skill damage. Now it comes with a skill tier, but I rolled max skill haste, and it has max skill damage for the attributes. For the mod slot, I threw in there more skill haste, 
and this is how I'm getting up to that 121% skill haste. Going to the backpack, this is the Hanayu Corporation named backpack, and it's called the Force Multiplier. What makes this one so special is it comes with the perfect talent, perfect combined arms. So every time I shoot an enemy, I get 30% skill damage for 3 seconds. Now this does not have a cooldown, and it does refresh every bullet you hit somebody with. So you can sit there and just keep shooting them, and it'll proc this perfect combined arms over and over and over and over. So it's perfect with this type of build that we are running. Because this is kind of like a run and gun where you can post up a turret, run around with a striker drone and the capacitor, and mow down anything in front of you. Or you can sit behind cover, use the harmony, and do the same thing. Just pick off the enemies, sit behind your turret, use your striker drone. Either way is fine. Now the Hanayu Corporation brand set bonus that I get from this build, 10% skill haste and 10% skill damage. So running to Hanayu is pretty vital for this build. Now the attributes, it comes with a skill tier and this one came with 9.9 .9 skill damage. So I rolled max skill haste and then I put more skill haste for the mod slot. Now the gloves, this is something new, so you might want to pay attention. This is the new brand set from Title Update 12. So this was just introduced yesterday. So this is what makes this build really top tier. Not only do I have all the right pieces already, but I also have the exotic that makes it even better. So this is the Express International Gloves. And the Express International is the new brand set that came with Title Update 12. And the brand set bonuses are Skill Health, Skill Damage, and then if I were to run three pieces, it would be Skill Efficiency. Now as far as the attributes, Skill Tier, Skill Damage at 8.7, and then I rolled Max Skill Haste. Knee pads, Express International as well. Came with a skill tier, skill haste at 10.5, and then I rolled max skill damage. The holster, Hana U Corporation. This one, skill tier, skill haste, and then max skill damage. You can start to see the trend with all the pieces. And then this is the wild card. A lot of people uh, don't think this is the best in slot, but after you see the numbers, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But this is the sacrifice. It is the named Providence Defense chess piece with perfect glass cannon. Now perfect glass cannon amplifies 30% of all damage you deal. That includes your skills. Of course, you do take a lot of damage when running these, but for having the hardest hitting builds out there, you want to run Glass Cannon. Now, for the brand set bonus, I get headshot damage, which is pretty nice, especially running the Harmony. And then I can also run the weapon damage core attribute because I am running Technician Specialization. Now, these attributes, I have 10.1 skill haste, and then I rolled max skill damage. And then for that mod slot, more skill haste at 11.2. And there you have it, you guys. So going to the stats, this is for the capacitor. Weapon damage just under 79.5K. And that is with 20% crit chance, 75% crit damage, 84.8 headshot damage, and 10% armor damage. And that armor damage does apply to your skills. Going to the offensive tab, 23.7 all weapon damage bonus, and 30% AR damage bonus. So every time I use the capacitor, I'm starting out with 53.7% damage bonus. 
Now my gear talents, I am running perfect combined arms with perfect glass cannon. So I get the amplified damage and the increased total skill damage. Defensive tab, 726k armor and 320k health. For my explosive resistance and hazard, both 10%, that's due to my watch level. And then going down to my skills, my drone, skill tier 6, 121.9 skill haste with a 11.3 cooldown, and it does 77.6k damage. Going to my turret, again, skill tier 6, 121.9k or percent skill haste with 124.3k damage. Now the cooldown on my turret is actually quicker than my drone at 10.7 seconds. So enough talking about it, here's the last look and let's go show you the numbers. Now I hope you guys enjoy this build. I love this build. I've been running the Summit solo with uh, this exact build. So let's look at the numbers. And I'll even show you guys the perfect in sync versus the capacitor. I always like to put it on invulnerable elite. All right, so here's the drone. And it is hitting at 156 with perfectly in sync. All right, here's the capacitor. Remember the capacitor goes up to 40 stacks. And now I'm at 166K for my turret. Or my drone, look at that, 168K. So you can see that the capacitor actually does a lot more skill damage than the perfectly in sync. So let's kill the drone. You saw that the drone was at 168k. And then here is my turret. 270k for my assault turret. 270.5. Alright, so there you go. 270.5 for my turret and 168k for my drone. Now let's go see it in action. Now don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys like the skill build. And uh, let's just go from there. Um, what makes the skill build so perfect and meta, quote unquote, in uh, my eyes, is that this exotic is now best in slot for skill builds. And now that we can run two piece Express International, we don't have to run three piece Murakami or three piece hardware. So that gives us the opportunity to run Perfect Glass Cannon and run a red. So with Technician, now we are getting a high fire assault rifle and high damage skills all at the same time all right so i'm on floor 21 let's try it out let's see two four we have six directives on right now floor 21 i'm farming true patriot by the way i've got a nice true patriot build coming your way soon Oh, and we got rogue agents. Oh, snap. All right, cool. So check this out. So rogue agents. Rogue Ooh, bombardier drone.
Alright, you can see that the rogue agent's already getting down. Alright, that rogue agent's about dead. He's healing himself. Let's see if my drone can help with that. Yeah, my drone's got him. There we go. There's one. And then, by the way, you can pick up your turrets now. There we go. And my drone's back. Look at this. Skills are just melting him away. And that's it. Rogue agent eliminated. And you guys saw that that's heroic with six directives. This is what I'm saying. This is gonna end up being the meta build for PvE. Like, that's how easy that was. My armor got down to what? What is that? Two thirds? And this is heroic with six directives. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, <clears throat> to get the capacitor, you need to complete five challenges within the summit. And then once you do that, put this build together. One wyvern, the sacrifice, the force multiplier, to Express International and to Hanayu Corporation. Run the Striker Drone with the Assault Turret, with the Capacitor, Harmony, and then the Double Barrel Sawed Off. Make sure you are running Technician, and then have everything Skill Haste and Skill Damage. This is probably one of the best builds in the game. I'm, I'm not like, uh, I'm I'm not trying to like boast or anything like for real this is bar none the like most hard hitting skill damage skill build I have and the capacitor just made it even better because now I can hit him with an AR that does pretty good damage not only that but once I get those stacks up my skills take them out I just took out those two rogue agents on heroic with six directives and I didn't even try I let my skills do most of the damage for me it just makes a uh, PvE a breeze so just take it from me have fun with the build share it do whatever you want I'm Kamikaze Von Doom and I'll see you guys in the next one peace